integration by parts with step by step procedure okay. so this is the formula of integration by parts uh, the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du so if you will ask me where it came from it actually came from the product rule of the derivatives okay so if you have re remembered the derivatives it says that uv oops it says that uv um two functions multiplied with each other can be derived through u dv plus v d u okay so the first function the second function is equal to u dv u is the first function and then the derivative of the second function plus the second function multiplied by the derivative of the first function now we all know that the anti derivative of a derivative is the derivative function itself okay which means that if we are going to put an anti derivative or an integral function here it will go back with the uv okay so that's why if we are going to put an integral sign there it will go back with uv okay and now this will be more familiar to you if we are going to transfer vdu here the integral of vdu it will become uv minus the integral of v du equals the integral of u dv and if you can see this this is the same with our formula in integration by parts u dv uv minus the integral of v so let us proceed with our first example so the integral of x e to the x dx so here are our steps to solve it step one we are going to determine our u second we are going to determine we're going to derive our u to find du so the du is the derivative of u okay third one we need to determine the dv here and then by step four we are going to integrate dv to find v which means we are going to find the antiderivative of dv and step five we are going to plug in our uh, variables u, du, dv, and v to our formula and we are going to solve. So if you have remembered this is our formula. Okay? So let's start. Okay, step one. Uh, we need to determine our u. Our u usually is on the leftmost part of our, our integral function. Usually it is beside the integral sign but uh, not all the time. Okay, because sometimes there are some cases in which the other one is the u. Okay, now if you're going to ask me, sir, how are we going to determine which will be our u and our dv? I'm going to answer that later on. Okay, so here our u is x. Okay, that will be our u. And by step two, we are going to derive our u. So in which the derivative of our u is dx okay now step three step three we need to find our dv so since we have already established that our u is x which means our dv will be this one e to the x and dx so e to the x dx step four we are going to integrate this one okay find the antiderivative so the antiderivative of the e to the x is still e to the x. Okay? If you have remembered that one. Now, step 5. We are going to plug in it to our formula which is the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. Okay? So... Uh, u, our u here is x, and our v is e to the x, e to the x, minus the integral of v, which is e to the x, 
and our du is dx dx so after plugging in it we're going to solve for the integral of this one okay to remove the integral sign and then we're done so we'll continue x e to the x minus the integral of e to the x is what still e to the x so e to the x plus c so remember that if we're going to remove our integral sign we are going to put plus c here since this is indefinite okay okay so this is our second example the integral of x to the 10 ln x dx okay so let's start um, in our step one our u will be okay so keep in mind um, if we are going to put our u as x to the 10 okay which means later our dv will be ln x dx and the antiderivative of ln x is quite difficult right however the derivative of ln x is quite simple okay so remember that uh, which among these functions are quite uh, easy to integrate that will be our dv okay and the simple one will be our u okay so our u here will be ln x because in our step 2, if we are going to derive ln x, that will be 1 over x dx. Okay? And in number 3, uh, that will be our dv. So, our dv will be x to the 10 dx. Okay? x to the 10 dx. So, because uh, x to the 10 is much simpler to integrate compared to ln x okay so if which one is simple that will be our dv okay so which means in our number four our step number four the antiderivative of x to the 10 will be x to the 11 over 11 okay uh, we will not put plus c as of the moment here okay now in step five we are going to plug in uh, it in our formula if you have remembered our formula it is the integral of uh, udv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du okay so our u our u here is ln x so we have ln x and our v is x to the 11 over 11 x to the 11 over 11 minus Okay, uh, quite some shortage in space, so we will put it here. So the integral of v, our v is x to the 11 over 11. And our du is 1 over x dx. Okay, so 1 over x. Of course, we will write dx here. Okay, uh, as you can see, it is quite a mess. So let's, uh, let's make it more clean. So, x to the 11 over 11, we will put it in the left side of ln x. So, it will be x to the 11 over 11 ln x minus, as you can see, we have 11 here, 1 over 11. We will put it outside our integral sign. And by law of indices or law of exponent, x to the 11 divided x will be x to the 10. Okay? So, we will have 1 over 11 integral of x to the 10 dx so that that is uh, pretty much uh, simpler than this one right okay now let's solve this one uh, let's make it as a fraction so we will have 1 over 11 x to the 11 ln x okay and then we will have minus 1 over 11 x to the 10 the integral for that is x to the 11 over 11 plus c. Okay, uh, we can simplify this one. 1 over 11 x to the 11 ln x minus 
x to the 11 over 11 times 11 that is 121 plus c that is our final so this is our third example the integral of x cubed e to the negative x dx okay uh, guys remember there are uh, times wherein we are going to integrate by parts uh, not just one time but two times third time or they may even be fifth time okay so this is a good example for that okay let's start so our u here is definitely okay uh, let me write it first our u here if uh, x cubed e to the negative x okay 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 so our u here is definitely x cubed and our dv later will be e to the negative x okay don't worry but uh, it's quite tricky but yeah we can do this <laughs> okay so our u is x cubed which means in our step number two our du okay our du is 3x squared dx okay next step number three our dv is e to the negative x dx okay which means in our v is okay so we are going to uh, integrate that one okay uh, I will use another sheet of paper here so let's try to integrate that one we are going to integrate e to the negative x dx so this one uh, we are going to use u substitution for here okay so our u will be a negative x okay so let u be equal to negative x so if you are going to derive this, our du will be equal to negative dx, right? Negative dx. And then we are going to find a substitute for dx. So we are going to divide both sides by negative 1. Negative 1 is from negative dx, okay? Which means our dx will be negative du. I'm not going to say du over negative 1 because du over negative 1 is negative du. So we are going to substitute this dx, this u, to our original integral function. So if we are going to substitute that by u substitution, it will be e to the u, okay? Because we said that we are going to let u be equal to the negative dx, and dx is equal to negative du. Okay, so assuming that we have this negative 1, right? So we're going to put it outside the integral sign. So we will have negative e to the u du. Okay, so the integral of e to the u is still e to the u, right? So it will be negative e to the u, which is negative x plus c. But later on, we are not going to write plus c in our solving okay since we are going to substitute substitute that okay so we are going to write in our v negative e to the negative x okay so let's start so number five from our formula we have um u dv minus minus uh, equals uv minus the integral of v du okay so uv our u is x cubed our v is negative e to the negative e x so we will have x cubed and we have negative e to the negative x minus minus the integral of v our v is negative e to the negative x and our du is 3x squared dx dx okay so let's make it quite uh, quite simpler quite cleaner 
So negative, we are going to put it outside the negative uh, the x cube. So we will have negative x cube e to the power of negative x. And we have negative and negative, so it will become positive. And three, we're go also to put. We're also going to put three outside the integral sign, so it will be plus three. The integral of e to the negative x x squared dx. Now, if uh, you have observed. Here, inside our integral sign, we have another uh, e to the negative x and x squared. So we have multiple function inside. Which means, we are still going to integrate this one by parts. Okay? Okay, so I have uh, rewritten re this new integral in another sheet of paper. We are going to solve this one again. Uh, okay? So here, our u is still x squared okay so if our u is our x squared this is for the step one so in our step two our du will be 2x dx okay and our dv okay is e to the negative x dx okay e to the negative x dx so our v so we, if you have remembered we have already solved that the integral of e to the negative x is negative e to the negative x so that will be negative e to the negative x okay so step 5 let's plug it in so we have uv our u is x squared and our v is um, negative e to the negative x minus the integral of VDU. So our V is negative E to the negative X and our DU is 2X DX. 2X DX. Okay, let's make it quite clean. So our negative will be put beside X squared. So it will be negative X squared E to the negative X. Negative, negative. So it will be positive 2 outside the integral sign. So plus 2 the integral of e to the negative x x dx all right so unfortunately if you can see inside our integral function we have another multiple function which means another integration by parts here okay so another integration by parts so let me get my another sheet of paper here. We're going to integrate this again. And we're going to plug it all later. Okay, so I'm going to re rewrite this. E to the negative x, x dx. Hopefully, this is the last one. So, u, our u here is x. Okay, so our du will be just dx. Next, our dv unfortunately is still e to the negative x dx and our v still just like the other one our v will be negative e to the negative x so now let's uh, plug it into our formula which is uh, the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du so our u this time will be x and our v is still negative e to the negative x minus the integral of v which is negative e to the negative x and fortunately our du is just dx so no multiple function this time so yeah good thing so let's make it uh, more clean negative x e to the negative x negative negative so plus the integral of uh, so plus the integral of e to the negative x dx okay so if you have remembered the antiderivative of e to the negative x 
is negative e to the negative x. Okay? So, we'll write that here. Plus negative e to the negative x plus c. Okay? Plus c. So, just let's just change the sign there. So, negative x e to the negative x minus e to the negative x plus c. Okay, now let's see uh, where we got. Okay, so um, we are going to plug it up. So this is our first uh, sheet of paper. So uh, beside 3, we are going to put here this. Okay, and then in this part, we are going to put all of this. Okay, are you ready? So let's start. So the first part is here. Okay, so we're going to write it up. So we have um, equals negative x cubed e to the negative x plus 3. Okay, I'm going to put a bracket there. Then we are going to put our second solving which is this one negative x squared e to the negative x plus 2 okay so this time we will have another one I will just write a parenthesis there which is this one bingo okay so negative x e to the negative x minus e to the negative x Sir, where am I going to put that plus C? We're going to put it outside the bracket. Okay? Because there's no such thing as 2C or 3C. Okay? So, this is just... Okay. It's quite complicated, right? So, let's try to trim it up. Let's trim it down. Okay. So, first here. Okay? We're going to distribute that 2. And then by the 3. Okay? So, we're going to copy this one for now e to the negative x plus 3 that bracket of negative x squared e to the negative x okay let's start so 2 times negative 1 that will be negative 2 x e to the negative x 2 times negative 1 that's that is still negative 2 e to the negative x plus c okay next 3 we're going to distribute that 3 here, here, and here. Okay? Equals negative x cubed e to the negative x. Oops. Uh, kind of mistake there. So we have 3 times negative 1. 3 times negative 1. That is negative 3. Right? So negative 3 x squared e to the negative x next 3 times negative 2 that will be negative 6 x e to the negative x okay so we are just going to multiply all the numerical coefficient for here 3 times negative 2 negative 6 e to the negative x plus c okay so if you want to simplify this one we can still simplify this one by finding the uh, common monomial factor for each of the term. And the common monomial factor for each term is obviously e to the negative x. So we can write that as e to the negative x, um, negative x cubed minus 3x squared minus 6x minus 6 plus c. And that will be our final answer. Okay, so in our last example, uh, you can actually pause this one and try it uh, on your own. Okay, so as I have, as I've said earlier, I've said that uh, ln x is quite difficult to integrate. 
but what if there will be a question like this so we really need to integrate this one okay so now let's try to figure out how we are going to integrate this by part okay so first our u will be so obviously we are not going to put um, our ln x dx as our dv because again as i've said earlier ln x is quite difficult to integrate so we are going to put ln x in our u because we all know that in our step 2 the derivative of ln x is 1 over x dx okay which is really really easy right and our dv is what's left from the ln x which is the dx and the antiderivative of dx is just x right okay so now we are going to plug it to our uh, formula which is the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du let's start so our u and v our u is ln x and our v is just x minus the integral of our v is x and our du is 1 over x dx 1 over x dx my bad that is dx okay so now let's try to clean it up x we're going to put it in the left side of ln x so that will be x ln x minus as you can see x and x x divide x that will be 1 so what's left will just be dx okay so x ln x minus what is the antiderivative of dx that will be just x plus c okay so that is the antiderivative for the integral of ln x dx hope you learned something from this video and if you love this video or this video help you please leave me a like and subscribe and don't forget to uh, ring the bell button to keep you updated thank you